And we are live. Hello, everybody. I'm just sending out the things because I, I always like to wait until the very last second. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if anyone is here yet, but hello anyway. Uh, the, I mean, this is going to be a, a video on YouTube at some point anyway. Um, so we're here today again for more Commander. But this time, we come with tinsel. We are Christmas themed, uh, which I'm very excited about. I hope everyone is excited about playing these amazing decks that we've all come up with. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll I'll go around and we can all like uh, say a little bit about our deck and like what we plan on doing i guess if it works out uh do you want to start us off bruno yeah um so i'm playing jorn god of winter um not my usual color combination because it doesn't have white in it um <laughs> and it's pretty much just snow tournaments because we're in the thick of winter even if it's still technically fall it is winter because it's freezing so that's where i'm theme wise because christmas happens in winter <laughs> that makes a lot of sense to me also yeah it is weird that you're the the only one today that isn't playing white i need to add my commanders into i know uh, which i don't know if i've ever seen happen before <laughs> uh weird yeah what about you adam um hi i am playing isu the abominable uh, I'm looking to uh, get benefits from looking from casting uh, stuff from the top of my library. Um, looking to buff him up to get plus one plus one counters on him. And mine is also snow permanence as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I can pay pay any color of the manners to put plus one plus one counters on him. Yeah. To get him nice and beefy. There we go. He's so cool. I love his too. He's cool, yeah. He's got cool art to him. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the, that's the, uh, and all of my creatures are snow creatures, bar one, and uh, even some other snow sorceries and instants. So we nice. shall see. So it's a very, very cold time over there on that side. Very, very cold time over here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> cool. And Sean. Yeah, so I'm playing Blanche the Bestower. Um, Blanche is the best boy um, because Blanche likes to give everybody something at the end of the turn um, and what I've done is because he likes to give presents to, to people um, I've gone in the kind of style of Christmas um, and you can either be on the nice list or you're going to be on the naughty list so as we play whatever you decide to do I'm going to move you from side to side depending on how how you're being so if you're on the nice list, you might get something from Glenn. But if you're on the naughty list, then you might end up having some really bad things happen to your board. Oh, so it's a binary thing. We're either on the nice list or the naughty list. Yeah, and it's all up to you. Your behaviour tells oh. us where you're going to be. Oh, God. I'm sure... Lunch is always watching. That sounds like it's going to be an interesting little thing. <laughs> Keep on your good side. Uh... <laughs> Okay, yeah, and I'm playing the combination of uh, Bjorna, Nightfall, Alchemist, and Vernog Riders Chaplain, which, honestly, the commanders of this deck don't really matter. Um, what matters is the colours, because I wanted all of the colours that would give me access to um, creatures like Zedru and Blim and John Arenicus that like to give permanence to my opponents. So... That's what I try and do. I try and give you... I'm going to give away um, bad stuff. I'm going to try and give away bad stuff. It's called my Bad Santa deck. Um, there's also a bit of a Necrosol theme as well. So there's like plenty of forced card draw. Uh, so you're going to get, get a lot of things from me. But they'll come with a little bit of a spike to them. Um, it's also not a very good deck. I just want to point out, uh, I, I I don't think 
I will ever come first in, with this deck, but I will try my best to come second. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm just starting to well, try to get a starting hand here. Has everyone got their hands? No, good point. Um, That's sure. another. Uh, yeah, I've uh, <laughs> I've had too many bad starts with this deck. <laughs> I'll that. keep that one. Nice. I'll I'll mix up the order as well. Uh, so it's so we go in a random order. Uh, but yeah, it is very uh, the the well at the moment the left hand side is the gift giving side and the right hand side is the cold snow side. Who are you calling vanilla, Mister Liminal? You're in the depths of winter here. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go with this. This is better. I'll, I'll keep this. These are also awful sleeves because they you know, they all stick together. I wanted them to be in a colour that you don't normally see because when I play it in person and give away permanents, uh, you can tell the sleeves apart, but they all stick together. Right, let me uh, randomise and do it three times. One, two, three. Uh, so Sean's going to take us off. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a great game. I hope you all get what you ho, want. Ho, ho. <laughs> Remember to be nice. Be nice. No. Sit on Santa's lap. <laughs> if you're lucky. Um, so I will draw and then I will play a snow-covered forest to start. I will tap it for a thinned horn elf, which... I can tap and add one green mana, and then I will pass my turn. Oh, that's me. Um, I am going to draw for the turn. People know. Um, and I am going to play... I will play a mountain, and I will pass the turn. Okay, now we'll draw. I will play a Shimmer Drift Veil tapped, and I will choose the colour green, and I will pass the turn. Now I'm going to draw. I'll play a Snow Covered Island. I'll tap one for Arkham's Astrally. Uh, when it enters, I draw a card, and I can tap one to t and tap it to add one mana of any type. And then I will pass it. Uh, and I will play a, another forest. I'll be kind. I will not ping anybody for damage at this point, and I will pass the turn. Oh, oh. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> we're all we're all on the on the nice list at the moment. Exactly. But it'll be nice to you back. So it works. Yeah. Um. I'm going to play a Shivan Reef. Um, oh, no, I, no, no, I don't want to play. Can, can, can I take that back? That's not the line I wanted to play, because then I can't play the thing that I wanted to play. I'm going to play Planes. Um, and then I will tap for two and play a Flump, which... Friend, a friend of Glunch. If I wasn't on the nice list, I feel like I should be on the nice list. You definitely are on uh, the nice list as we stand at the minute. For playing the other jellyfish. Um, but yeah, zero four defender with flying. And when it's dealt damage, me and target opponent each draw a card. I can choose someone. If you're, you know, on my nice list, uh, then I'll pass it. Okay, I will untap. I've even draw. Nice. Well, we will do a snow-covered island, and I'm just gonna have to pass. Uh, and that, I've even draw. Snow-covered lands is so cool. I'm 
going to play a snow covered island. Here we go. Then I'm going to tap two and my astrolabe for green, and I'll play a sculptor of winter. I can tap her to untap target snow lane. And then I will pass. I will play a another forest and I will pass. Cool. Well, I'll untap. Uh, and I will play a shipping reef now. Um, let's tap for three, and I'll play a howling golem. If it attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. Some card draw here, and I will pass the turn. Okay, and tap up, keep and draw. <clears throat> Okay. Not a lot I can do. I shall just play a gla uh, glacial floodplain tapped, and I will pass the turn. Uh, I'll tap, upkeep, and drop. I'm gonna play a snow-covered island. I'm going to tap two. For swift foot boots, I'm going to tap one for an Ascendant Spirit. Um, so Ascendant Spirit, I can pay two snow mana, it becomes a 2-3. I can pay three more after that, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four, uh, Spirit Warrior Angel, and then I can pay four more after that, it gets two 1-1 one, one counters, and it says whenever it deals damage to a player, I draw a card. Damn. Um, yeah, I'll, I will pass turn with that. I will draw. And I am not seeing white mana, so I will need to pass the turn. Okay. Thanks. Draw. Um, let's go with, uh, a restless vents. Um, then I will tap for two, I'll get blue from Shivan Reef, so I'll take one damage and I will play the Jordan. Uh, she allows me to tap her at sacrifice an artifact um, and she deals one damage to target creature and then that creature is goaded uh, does everyone want to draw a card go, I'd get, love to draw a card get Christmas going <laughs> let's get this party mm. started uh, is anyone able to block this and not lose a creature no. No, not the bit. Does anybody want to volunteer to take some damage? In the spirit of Christmas, I will take the damage. Alright. I'll attack you then, Sean. And on attacks, everyone will draw a card. Nice. Um, and then I will not block with that. That'll be silly. Is that two damage? It is two damage. Don't. And donk. There we go. Nice. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll pass it in. Untap, upkeep, and draw. I'll play a snow covered forest. Then. Oh, no. I still can't play anything just yet. So. I'm gonna have to go to discard and I guess I shall just discard a snow, snow covered planes and pass turn. Mm -hmm. I will untap, 
upkeep and drop. I'm going to play a Frost Walk Bastion. Uh, tap for a colorless or pay one in the snow, and it becomes a 2 3 construct. Um, and when it deals combat damage to a creature, tap that creature and it doesn't untap its next untap step. I'm going to tap these two for a green, 2 3 for Jorn. And then I'm gonna tap one and put my swift foot boots on him. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I'll pass. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Sure. I'll be nice for now. <laughs> for now. Uh, Marcus, could you do uh, me a favor? Yes. If, if I were to potentially just attack you with uh, a little one one, could you block it with your jellyfish? Little flump, little flump. Could, could we then potentially draw some cards? Both of us. You know what? Yeah, yeah. we we certainly could do that. Especially since you took the damage last turn. Yeah, see, see. And, and we're all still on the nice list, so I will, I will go to combat and I will swing my elves at you for one. Amazing. And I will block with oh. Flump. With oh, <laughs> dealt damage and target opponent will be you, Sean. And we'll draw oh, a card. Thank you. I got some land. Woo. It was a snow covered forest. This is silly. I've got way more planes in this thing with forest than I'm seeing is forest. Oh no. Um, I will have to end my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and discard down a few cards. Okay. We'll discard a hunted Lamasto and a secret rendezvous. And pasta. Alright. Some tap. Draw. Uh, I think I will. Let's go with. Who would like a creature? <laughs> Anybody? Oh no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's, it, feels, it feels wrong to say yes with, with what your deck does. Okay, well, I'll play Hive of the, Ty Hive of the Eye Tyrant tapped. Um, let's go with. Bruno. So I'm tapping for three. Um, for Zantia Sleeper Agent. Uh, when she enters the battlefield, or she enters the battlefield under the control of opponent of my choice. She attacks each combat if able, but she can't attack its owner or planeswalkers its owner controls. Um, and she's also got an ability uh, where any player can pay three mana and Zantra's controller loses two life, but you you will draw a card. Uh, so that will go under Bruno's control. She will be a sleep agent. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky agent. Um... And then let's attack Adam for two with Howling Golem, and everyone will draw a card. Take two and draw a card. Um, and then that's it. I'll pass to him. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Oh, finally. Okay. 
snow covered forest, I will first tap three green for tribute to the world tree. It's an enchantment. When a creature enters the battlefield under my control, draw a card if it's power three or greater. Otherwise, you put two plus one plus one counters on it. And next, I'm going to also pay a blue. And I'm going to play Ascendant Spirit. Ooh. Same as same as Bruno. Um. So yes, we all know what it does. I think Bruno's going to probably read out more cards if he casts more, and I'll be like, "There we go, that's what we do." <laughs> um, so, trigger tribute to the world tree. Its power is less than three, so I put two plus one plus one counters on it, and then I shall pass the turn. And tap, upkeep, and draw. I am going to tap two for Bitter Chill, Enchanting Xantia. Um, so when it enters, tap Enchanted Creature, and it doesn't untap. Okay. And then when that enchantment is put into the graveyard, I can pay one, scry, and draw a card. Now I don't have to attack anybody. <laughs> Puts you firmly in the nice list, Bruno. <laughs> Everyone's being and so nice to one another. <laughs> I'm gonna tap my sculptor of winter to untap one of my islands, and then I'm going to. I'm gonna move to combat, and I'm gonna swing Jorn at Marcus, which will untap each of my snow permits. Sure. Um, I will sign Flump as a blocker. Yep. Uh, Flump has dealt damage, so you know what, Bruno? You can draw a card. And I will draw a card. Thank you. Did I play land? No, I have not played land, so I'm going to so. play that island next turn. And then I am going to... I'm going to tap these two for a black, and then two for a three total for a Grim Draugr. And then I'm going to untap another one with my lands. So Grim Draugr says you can pay one in the snow and it gets plus one z and plus zero and gains menace. And it's a three two. And then I will pass turn. So Bruno, in your end step, and mm -hmm. I am, I am land screwed. I, well, I apologize, but I am going to tap three to activate Xantia to deal you two damage and draw a card. Mean. I'm really <laughs> sorry. Can I put you on the naughty list? <laughs> but, but, it, it, but, <sighs> I, when lunch comes out, I will offer you first dips. Is that okay? Sure. <laughs> I will untap. And I will draw. And Bruno, you did me a solid. I have a planes. Nice. So I will tap. Two and the planes and we'll bring the lunch out onto the board. The lunch is here. Um, Marcus, are we all right to uh, do the thing where we? We are indeed, drink? absolutely. A 
amazing. So I'm going to go to combat and I will swing my elves at you for one. Cool. I will block with Flumpf McDoodle. Flump. <laughs> and you and I can draw a card. Dick. Oh, that felt good. Right. Um, I will then move to my end step, which means I can choose a player, but two plus one plus counters on a creature they control. Choose a second player to draw a card, then choose a third player to create two treasure tokens. So, Bruno, as promised, would you like to be the first, second, or third person that I choose? I would like to draw a card. <laughs> Lovely. So, I will let... Um, Adam, you can put two plus one plus one counts on the creatures you control. Thank you. Uh, Bruno, you may then draw a card. And because you can create two treasure tokens. Oh, that's very nice of you. Oh. I appreciate that you didn't choose yourself. Yeah. Oh, we've we've been kind of working together at the minute quite nicely, so let's keep it keep it nice for now. Um, and I will have to discard down to hand size. So I've got quite a few things. I will. Uh, discard a Cosmic Rebirth. We'll discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more. Um, I will then discard a Lezel Valakith Champion and a Let's do it. A crisis of conscience. End my turn. Very nice. Power on top. Draw. This is going very nice, this game. Everyone's being so nice. That's not, it's not, not sarcasm. It really, it really is going nice. <laughs> Right, if it, if, if it changes, you'll, you'll know. I'll make sure we're aware. Um, I think... I will... Um, let's play... I'm going to play my other commander, Vernog. And when he enters the battlefield, or leaves the battlefield, each opponent may investigate, which is make a clue token. Uh, and you can pay two mana, sacrifice it to draw a card. Um, if you don't choose to investigate, you lose one life. But I will investigate one plus the amount of opponents that investigates. Uh, so we'll go around. Adam gets to choose first. Um, hmm. I will investigate. Okay, Bruno. I'll lose a life. Okay, and uh, sure. Um, I'm going to get a raging clue. If that's all right. A raging clue. Yeah, that's very all right. Uh. That means I will investigate three times and get three clues. No clue. And get my dice out of my box. There we go. Uh, then I think I'm going to tap for three. to lose one life to Shiva Reef again for blue. Um, and I will play Ian Malcolm Chaotician. Uh, You've chosen chaos. I have chosen chaos. I'm really glad I drew this card because it's one that I definitely wanted to, to learn. So to learn to, um, to play. I have a response. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Um, I'm going to tap three 
because you didn't say please <gasps> and counter it. <laughs> didn't say please. And then, and then you mill three. Okay. I will. Fallen Wilds. Fucking Signet. Kazul's Fury. Well, that would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we have to use our manners. I'm a teacher. <laughs> uh, okay then, I will play... Well, I can attack, right? Um... I'll attack... Um... Sean, I'm going to attack into you, knowing that you can just block with a blunch and not take any damage. So, That's fine. We will, we will bone that. Howling Golem means everyone draws a card. And, yeah, I assume you block. Yeah. Right. Cool, then I will, as my land for the turn, I'm going to play a Terramorphic Expanse. And then we're gonna um, go to my end step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine cards, so I need to discard two, which will be two points. I'm passing the turn. I'm gonna crack the Terramorphic Expanse as well. Go ahead. I think Adam's just dropped from the Discord call. He might be on his way back. Okay. Um, I'm searching for a pla <laughs> planes. I like how we discarded two planes <laughs> and then search for a planes. <laughs> that was the most pointless thing. <laughs> you back, Adam? Oh, hello. Hello. Sorry. What? Something went, went, went really, really quiet, and then I was just like, either I'm going to get excluded from this game and then have to come back, but... Have you passed, sorry? Yes, yes. Okay, wonderful, yes. thank you. Right. Untap, upkeep, and draw. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'll play a snow-covered forest. No, that's a nine, not a forest. Um, and I'm going to tap five for my commander. This is the Abominable. I may look at the top card of my library anytime. Nice. I may cast, I may play snow lands and cast snow spells from the top of my library. And whenever another snow permanent enters the battlefield under my control, I may pay green, white, or blue. And if I do, put a plus one, plus one counter on is you the Abominable. Nice. Um, trigger of Tribute to the World Tree. I will draw a card. Okay. Um, what have we got here? Too many big things right now. So uh, I will go to end step and I will discard one card because so I have eight in hand and I will um, I'll discard a snow covered forest and I'll pass the turn. I will untap, upkeep, and drop. I'm going to play Faceless Haven. It's a land. It taps for colorless. And I can pay three snow to make a 4-3 creature with vigilance and all creature types. Um, I am going to tap four. 
for a Rhyme Winds Cryomancer. What she does is I can pay one and tap her to counter target activated ability, only if I control four or more snow permanents. Um, I'm gonna move to combat. And I am going to swing Jorn at Marcus. Yeah! On attack, all of my stuff will untap. Uh, I will block with Flump. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> uh, and yeah, me and you can draw a card, Bruno. Okay. I am going to second main. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to tap these two for green. Two, three, four. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. For a Blessings of Frost. Um, I could distribute X11 one, one counters, which is three, because I use three snow mana. I don't think that Arkham's Astrolabe counts for snow. Uh, so I'm going to not count it. Is it? Does it have uh, the snow permanent type? Yeah, it's it a, does add one. It's a snow artifact, so mana you gain from snow permanents or snow mana. So it is. Oh, okay. So I get four one one counters, and I can distribute them as I like. Um, I'm gonna put one on Jorn, uh, one on my Grim Jogger, and then. Two on my Rhineland Cryomancer. And then I draw a card for each creature I control with power four or greater, which is now four. So I draw four cards. That's all the cards. No joke. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I have nine cards in my hand, so I gotta play at least one. That's the question. Um, I'm gonna untap my Sculptor of Winter to untap my Crosswalk Bastion. Um, you know, what? I'm just gonna move to end step and discard. <laughs> Um, I'm going to discard Succumb to the Cold, so it's an instant, so I'll go to my graveyard. And then I will pass in. Awesome! In your end step, I'm going to pay two and pack my clue. See what interesting things I find. <laughs> I have to discard another one, sorry. I'm going to discard Chiller Pillow. It's a Caterpillar. Sorry. I miscounted. I will then on cap. And roll. Uh, so I will play a snow covered plains as my land for turn. I will then I will really consider what I want to do because it's so much <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and play Sunscorch Regent. It's a 4 3 flyer. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Sunscorch Regent, and I gain a life. Oh. 
So just see him as my bearer of gifts. <laughs> he will be able to carry lots of gifts and share them with you later on. Um, so I realized I made a mistake. Jordan untaps himself, which I didn't know. Ah, uh, yes. yes. So next so... time I attack, I'll untap him. <laughs> I guess you can untap just him now, right? right? It's not... Yeah. Nothing's yeah. happened. I thought he said each other snow permanent. Uh, yeah, he's kind of got vigilance. Ish. Yeah. To be honest, you stay on the nice list, Rina. Which is always good. Well Yay. <laughs> um, alright. Explain. Sorry. Um, I will then uh, move through combat. I'm not going to attack anybody today. Um, and I will go to my end step. Um, so I will. Um, let's go. Uh, Marcus, you can put two plus one plus one counters on a creature. I'll let you decide which creature. Ooh. Uh... Let's go with Flump, so we can block bigger things. <laughs> nice. Flump, flump. Not take it anymore. Um, I will let Adam, you can draw a card. You, thank you. And you're on the nice list still, so that makes sense to let you create two treasure tokens, Bruno. Yay. You're being so nice, Sean, not choosing yourself. But my idea is that when you're all horrible and you beat me later, you'll all feel guilty. That <laughs> so kind. That's the plan. I mean, we're, 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 we're both being really kind at the moment. We've we've given people a lot of things. <laughs> um, and then I will go to discard. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. And I will discard... A rousing of souls. I'm past there. Okay. I will untap. Draw. Ooh, fun. Uh, let's play an island as my land for the turn. Um, I will play for th three mana a spectral searchlight, which is me casting a spell. I will then give this plus one plus one and I will gain a life. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, then I will tap spectral searchlight for... I, so Spectral Searchlight actually lets me um, give a mana to any player just in case anyone wants to bargain later on and that's untapped but I'm going to tap it right now um, to give myself blue mana and then add four to that and I'm going to cast Perplexing Chimera um, that says whenever an opponent casts a spell I may exchange control of Perplexing Chimera and that spell. If I do, I can choose new targets for the spell. Okay, uh, hang on. Yep. So you could steal people's creatures if they come in? Yeah. Yeah, so if it's a if it's a permanent, then whilst it's on the stack, I get control of it and it'll enter the battlefield under my control. And on every okay. spell, I can decide whether I want to do that. But obviously, per Perplexing Chimera gets given to that player, and then that player can choose to do the same thing. Doesn't work. Uh, am I going to attack? Probably not. I'm going to pass the turn, though. Mm. 
Okay. One tap, upkeep, draw. Okay. Uh, I will also play a faceless haven. <laughs> like Bruno does. Um, then I'm going to tap two to explore. I'm going to play an additional land on this turn to draw a card. So you steal that, play. Marcus? I'm not going to steal Explore, no. I'm going to play a Snow Cup of Planes and we're going to draw a card. What's this one? Oh, cute. Okay. Let's go with what we got now. So I will play, I will tap two to play Avalanche Caller, he's a 1-3 human wizard. Uh, I can tap two, snow tar uh, target snow land I control becomes a 4-4 four -four elemental creature with hexproof and haste until end of turn, it's still a land. Trigger tribute to the world tree, it's two plus one plus one counters. this again yeah also on cast I'm going to tap a snow cover planes to give Isu a plus one plus one counter going to pass the turn. Alright. Thumbs up. Upkeep and drop. I'm going to play a snow-covered forest. And I'm going to tap two, these two for a black, and then an island for feed the swarm. Targeting the Chimera. So destroy target creature or enchantment, and I lose life equal to its mana cost. Hmm. And your Sun Scorch will get another counter. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. I can't target John, which is annoying. Um, oh, this is a win-win for you because either you get, like, you're I not going to lose anything or... great if I target any of your stuff. If I target someone else's, then it's a, it's a two for one for you. Oh, that's a tricky situation. I know. I forced your hand. Christmas penumbrum. It is. Um. Okay. It can die. Yeah, so I'll lose five life. You do. And then I am going to crack a treasure for black and pay two for dead of winter. All non-snow creatures get minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of snow permanents I control, which is 11. Um, I have a response to that. Mm -hmm. 
First of all, that puts you firmly on the naughty list, Bruno. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Very naughty. Um, but I will also tap two green, and I will cast Heroic Intervention, giving my permanence indestructible. Does that matter? No, with my... unfortunately no. no, it won't. Dang it. Because... Okay, I will undo that then. Uh, I'll stay on the naughty list. Did, did you, you say... You gain a life from your sun torch. You said you? minus 11. Yeah. So is the Sun Scorch region going to die? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's only a. It's, it's got yeah, nine toughness. Nine life. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, I have no responses. Adam, can you save us? Nope, because I've got snow permanence. Bye! <laughs> that was very naughty. Xantia uh, will die. Yeah. And when she does, I'm going to pay one to scry one and then draw her. He gives my enchantment. Uh, that could go on the bottom. I don't need that. And then I will draw. Uh, can I just quickly jump in? Because um, Zancho just died. Um, before she dies, I'd like to use this two mana that I've got to activate her ability. It's three, it's three, mana. three mana. Is it three? Yeah. Oh. This is very naughty stuff, Bruno. <laughs> I the board was looking a little too crowded. <laughs> yeah, the top half now looks very. Yeah, the bottom half is still very crowded. Yeah. Um, is this um, gifts? Uh, yeah, Christmas. Gifts versus Christmas snow. Is over. Winter is still here. <laughs> Winter is coming. <laughs> and it's um, and it's here to stay. So before I go to combat, I'm gonna tap two for a rhyme tender. I can untap another target snow permanent. I'm gonna move to combat and you have the most life Sean, so I'm gonna attack you with Jorn. Yep. And then I'm gonna attack oh, he's a four four. Okay. And then my Grim Draugr is a 4-3, it's gonna go up Marcus. Um, yeah, and I'll take some permanent. Untap. Right, no more nice players. <laughs> You've broken nope. the pact. <laughs> We've been here for an hour, I figured something. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. You can't just have a nice Christmas game of magic, can you, Bruno? <laughs> Someone has to win. It's probably not going to be me, but I might as well push it along. Um, and Jorn is untapped. In my second main, I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five for Conifer Worms. He has Trample, he's a four, four, and it says I could pay four. And he gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of snow permanents I control. I'm gonna tap my Sculptor of Winter to untap a land, and then I will pass turn. I'm the only one on the nice list! <laughs> 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 To be fair, oh. Adam shouldn't be moved to the naughty list because I board wiped. Well, it was Adam's response to us losing. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah. I wasn't going to respond to something because it's I was fine. <laughs> so. It's, you know, it's Christmas. And then the <laughs> kindness of Christmas, you can have... And plus, and plus, I'm not going to lie, I actually didn't have anything in my hand to say. <laughs> That's fair enough. I actually didn't, unfortunately. What are we going to do, Sean? I've only got six mana now and all. Ugh. Right. Um, well, I will start trying.
trying to put some bits and pieces back together. So I'm going to pay one, two, three for a Miri Weatherlight Duelist. It's a 3-2 with first strike. Whenever Duelist attacks, each opponent can't block with more than one creature this combat. As long as Miri Weather Duelist is tapped, no more than one creature can attack you each combat. So he's all right for the minute, but he's there thinking about stuff. Um, and then I will pay another three uh, for a Stalking Leonin. It's a uh, 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, I secretly choose an opponent. Um, I can reveal the player I chose and exile target creature that's attacking me if it's controlled by the chosen player. I can activate this only once. So, I will put the name of the person on the bottom of this. Ooh, exciting. Um, I will leave it on the board. I will put it just there. And I'm hoping because it's whiteboard pen, it doesn't rub off accidentally. Um, and then as I can't attack, I will go to my end step and pass the turn. Cool. Oh no, everything's oh. gone. I'm feeling very vulnerable at the moment. You are... And... Should we get... A little blocky block out. Uh, got... Red... Black... And two uh, to play Gambit, who is actually an altar for Necrosaur. Uh, so he says, the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card, and whenever an opponent draws a card, Nekusar deals one damage to that player. Uh, then... Does anybody want to draw any cards? Um, I, I am all games for drawing cards. I don't mind. You're not going to let me draw cards, so I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I might let you draw cards. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do instead? Uh, I'm going to tap for two, three, and a treasure uh, to play Puka's Mischief. Um, at the beginning of my upkeep, I may exchange control of target non-land permanent eye control and target non-land permanent and opponent controls with equal or lesser converted mana cost. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep and draw. You will draw two and take two damage. Oh yes, I will. Yes. Oh, that's fine. Extra okay. cards. I'll play a snow-covered island. Um, I'm going to one, two, three, four. I'm going to tap five to play Diamond Fairy. Ooh. Uh. It's a 3-3 three, three flyer. Uh, I can pay one in the snow to give snow creatures I control plus one plus one till end of turn. Uh, I'm going to trigger a tribute to the world tree and draw a card. 
I will away. also say yes. Um, what's that? Okay. Um. I will also tap. Uh, I will tap the faceless haven to give you a plus one plus one counter. Uh, faceless haven doesn't make colored mana. Oh no, it doesn't. Thank you. I don't know why I missed that. Staring, I'm staring yeah. right at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I've got thingy blue and green. Okay, that's fine. So then I will then tap a blue to play Frost Augur. Um, I could pay a snow and tap it to look at the top card of my library. If it's a snow, per if it's a snow card, I may reveal it, put it into my hand. Uh, I will also pay a green to give him another one. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go to combat and I'm going to hit Marcus for eight. These do the abominable. I will take eight. And then I will pass my turn. In your end step, I'm going to tap two to evolve my ascendant spirit. So it's now two, three with one. Find the three, that'd be great. Two, three, flying spirit for it. Oh no, it's just a two, three. It doesn't have flying yet. The next one is when it gains flying. Untap, upkeep, and draw. I'll draw two and take two. I'll play a snow covered swamp. Um, I'm going to think. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to tap two to cast the sorcery freeze in place targeting Miri, Weatherlight Duelist. Uh -huh. um, so what that does is it taps target creature and opponent controls and puts three stun counters on it. Um, and then I scry two. So stun counters, if a permanent with a stun counter would become untapped, remove one from it instead. And then I'll scry two. So cold. Uh, I'll put one on top and one on the bottom. You bless St. Clair. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to tap a, uh, tap one, two to give my Grim Draugr menace and plus one, plus one plus zero. So it is a five, two. Um, and then I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing the Grim Draugr at Sean. I'm going to swing Jorn at Marcus. And I'm going to swing my Conifer Worm at Adam. Oh. And on attack, all of my snow permanents will untap. Uh, 
Okay, so I will. Um, I'm going to use Stalking Leonin's ability now, and I'm going to reveal that it was indeed Bruno. I figured. Yeah. Um, and I will exile your Grim hmm. Okay. Marcus, you have a 4-4 four, four coming at you. Um, I will just, I'll take 4. And then Adam, you have a 4-4 four, four coming at you. Okay, I will... Block it with a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, in response, I'm going to pay 4 to give my... Conifer Worm plus X plus X, where X is the number of snow permanents I control. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it becomes an 18, 18 with trample. Yep, I will be taking 13. Adam, I'm going to put you back on the nice list because that felt. <laughs> 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 you can't be in the same same category as, as Bruno right now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you. I'm going to use my Sculptor of Winter to untap my Snow-Covered Forest. I'm going to use my Rhyme Tender to untap my Sculptor of Winter and use that to untap my Snow-Covered Swamp. And then I will pass turn. Okie dokie. I will untap and I will take a stun counter off of Miri. And then I will draw two and take two damage. Do you have any enchantments on your board, you know? No. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's do something else then. Let's go. One, two, and three. And I'm going to cast Duelist's Heritage. So, whenever one or more creatures attack, I can have target attacking creature gain double strike until the end of turn. Oh my. Um, and that, I believe, counts for anyone. So, whenever you go to combat, yes. I could give any creature double strike. And then... I will um, move through combat and I will go to my end step and pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. Um, I'm not going to exchange control of anything. Uh, I'll just move to my draw, draw two cards. I'm scared of both the snow people. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a friendly little yeti. Well, you just hit me for eight commander damage, so not that friendly. I didn't say it's going to happen again. I had to do something. I haven't really done anything. i got to be careful. 
I can do something, but I can do it to one player. And I'm scared of both of you two down there. One player has been a mini bobini. It's a naughty thing, but it's it's not being it's not being aimed at you, Sean. Well, that that was that was my next question. Is it a naughty thing towards somebody else? Because that would definitely keep you on the nice list. It's a naughty thing to one specific person, but it's going to be one of those two players down there who are doing all the things. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be me. It could be, but you have open mana as well. That's true. Um, which isn't going to help. So it's like, do I get you, who is arguably the, the strongest player at the moment, and but could potentially do something about it? Or the guy who hit me for eight commander damage last turn? <laughs> <laughs> it was just one. <laughs> I would have only hit you for three, but she came in summoning sick. Sorry. Um, hmm. Let's do... Um, oh, I also kind of need blockers. <laughs> I'm so scared. I need everything. I need everything. You need a Christmas miracle. I do. Um. I think. Maybe I'll just do something else. Who knows? Who knows? Ah, oh, no. Because I've said. I've said now. There's a thing. So I need to do the thing. <sighs> Adam, <laughs> are you? Yes. If you don't attack me with Isu, I will do the thing to Bruno. <laughs> Isu will not be going at you. Okay, cool. cool. Considering somebody's just hit me for 14 damage, it will not be going at you. Okay, well, let's see if this gets through to Bruno then. Because there's no guarantee of that happening. I'm gonna try though. Um, I'm gonna tap for three mana and attempt to cast nine lives. Um, this is an enchantment. Uh, it has hex proof. If a source would deal damage to you, you prevent that damage and put an incarnation counter on nine lives. And if you've got nine or more incarnation counters, uh, you exile it. And when nine lives leave the battlefield, you lose the game. Any responses? No, I can't do anything about it. Okay. Uh, so that's on the battlefield. Um, then I'm going to tap for three I've just realized something uh what is that thing what what do you have on um attached to your creature Bruno it? no the 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 one underneath the elf oh these are just they're just two creatures that do oh the they're just thing. creatures you don't control an enchantment no no nope, I can't do it to Bruno uh, <laughs> shit <laughs> all right well it's gonna go at Adam instead <laughs> um Roll reversal, exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type. I forgot about the exchange control bit. Um, I should have checked if Bruno had any enchantments. So I will exchange nine lives with um, Path uh, to the World Tree. What is it called? Tribute to the World Tree. Tribute to the World Tree. 
Okay. So you get nine lives. I will have tribute. Um. Cool. So now you don't take damage, but you put an incarnation counter onto that instead. Will Necrosar give him two counters? Yes. Um, I'll sacrifice a treasure for white, spectral searchlight for white, and hive of the eye tyrant, and cast secret rendezvous, um, where me and Adam will each draw three cards. So how many life, how much will I lose? Isn't there something that pings me when I draw cards? Yeah, Necrosaur for each card you draw is going to deal one damage, but then that gets replaced. Um, so you don't take damage, but you put three counters on to nine lives instead. Um, then I will play land for the turn, which will be a smoldering crater. Um, and I will pass the turn. In your end step, yep. I am going to have to put you on the naughty list now, Marcus, because that was kind of mean. Not to you, though. But I am Santa Glunch, and I see what's happening, and and poor we Adam was working with you. He attacked me for eight commander damage. Stolen his thing, <laughs> and you gave a horrible thing to Bruno, and then swapped it and gave it to him. Bit mean, so you are on the naughty list. No. I feel like this nice naughty list thing is uh, is very up in the air. <laughs> it's subjective. I'm just saying there's no rules to this system because uh, how dare you, sir? <laughs> just FYI as well. If I leave the game, so does the enchantment, which means if if I lose, you will lose. I don't. We are we are soul bound. <laughs> uh, you you draw you draw two cards and you you put two two counters onto nine lives, which should be at five now. Oh, I only drew one actually. Hmm. Snow covered island. Um. Right. I'm going to tap to to play Marriott Lager's Slumber. Um, it's a legendary snow enchantment. When it enters or another snow enters the battle, uh, snow permanent enters the battle, goes to scry one. At the beginning of the upkeep, if you control 10 or more snow permanents, sacrifice it. And if you do, create Marriott Lage a legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying and indestructible. What was it called again, Adam? Sorry. Oh. Marit Lager's Slumber. So I've just realized I've put this on completely. M A R I T L A G E. Thank you. I will pay one to give him another counter. Hmm. 
I will now pay one, two, three for Frostwaller. It's a snow creature lizard. Frostwaller gets plus two, plus two to end of turn. Oh, that's if I pay a snow to him. Uh, stability only plays triggers once each turn. Um, what else was it that? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna square one. I'm gonna put that at the bottom. What's this? Oh, okay. That might be good. What is the power and toughness of your creature, Marcus? Uh, it's a 2-4. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tap a green. And I'm going to play this from the top of my library, which is Blizzard Brawl. Choose target creature I control and target creature you don't control. If you control three or more snow permanents, the creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, and gains indestructible to end of turn, then those creatures fight each other. I'm going to give it to Izu, so he's going to become a 10-9, I'm going to fight your thing. Okay. Your creature. He will die. Right. Looks just tense right now. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for something. Easy to Will you not hit me this turn? Sure. Or take out any of my permanents or anything? Because I feel like I have been picked on by Marcus. <laughs> With the nine lives. With the nine lives, and I'm three away. Um... You're four away, I think. You've drawn... You've taken five damage, I think? Or you would have taken five damage? Well, I've got six counters on it. Because every time I every time I drew a card, I took a damage. Yeah, there was. But I didn't. I had I prevented it. Three from secret rendezvous, and two from the beginning of your turn. Was there any more damage? So, so was it only five? I've put it on six. I think it's I give myself one extra. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna go to combat. Remember, if I die, then you also die. Just saying. <laughs> we can also only attack Sean with one creature at a time. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking at attacking Sean, to be honest. Um, Thank you! Somebody's <laughs> giving me a nine lives, which will make me lose the game if I take any more damage. So, I'm going to swing. These four at Marcus. 
And in response to the attack, I'm going to pay two to give snow creatures plus one plus one. So this will total 20. <laughs> okay. To Marcus. You know Bruno's going to kill me and then we're both out of the game. <laughs> Well, we just do this. I'm gonna give you two double strike till the end of the turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> yeah. uh, will you? That's brilliant. Okay, okay, yeah, let's do it. In in response, I'm gonna flash in my ice thing codal and draw a card. <laughs> Yay! Because we're about to lose. <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, I I don't have any responses, so I will die. Oh, thank God, I can get rid of that stupid enchantment. The enchantment leaves. Oh, the enchantment leaves, I'm and free. you also what? die. Like I've was, you also die? like I've been telling you, if I die, you also <laughs> die. Nine lives. Is I didn't hear that. that. I said it yeah. several times, Adam. <laughs> Oh, if I'm taking you out, I'll go out with you then. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, because Nine Lives has a clause that says if it leaves the battlefield, you lose. And because it's his permanent, when he dies, it leaves the battlefield, so you lose. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's where the street ends, guys. That... No, no. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> no, between you two. Okay. <laughs> I, to I told you, Look, Adam. I told you, Adam. <laughs> Look, comments. I didn't read it. I didn't understand it correctly, okay? I just thought he left it, which meant it left it, mate. So. It happens. <laughs> oh, well. So I'm going to have my next card. Yeah. We're all on the naughty list now. <laughs> <laughs> the list has been demolished. Upkeep and draw. I'm going to play a snow-covered island. So I'm going to tap five for Narfi, Betrayer King. Other yeah. snow and zombie creatures get plus one, plus one. Yeah. I'm going to tap four and crack a, the treasure that I have left for Morietti of the Frost. Um, when she enters, I'm going to have her enter as a copy of Conifer Worm. Right. Except she comes in with two 1-1 one, one counters and has Changeling. So she's a 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Uh -huh. Plus one one, so she's a seven seven. So let me change that. From Narvi. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna tap Rhine Tender to untap a snow covered island. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that snow covered island to play a frost auger. Yeah. And then I'm gonna move to combat. And I'm gonna swing Jorn at you. Which will untap all of my snow permanents. How big is Jorn? He's a 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Um, and he untaps himself. Well, I will choose not to give it double strike. That feels a bit silly. I was assuming. Um, <laughs> And I will, I will take the four. And I'm on eight commander damage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tap one. And I'm going to move my swift foot boots onto my frost auger. I'm going to tap one. Tap it to look at the top card in my library. If it's a snow card, I can reveal it and put it into my hand. It is a chilling shade. So it's a snow oh. creature. So I'll go into my hand. Who would have guessed you'd have got a snow creature from your snow deck? That's crazy. Who would have guessed? <laughs> um, I'm going to tap 
Rhyme Tender to untap Frost Augur, and I'm going to do it again. Wait a minute. It is an Abominable Tree Folk. It is a snow creature. It will go into my hand. Uh -huh. I'm going to tap one. Move my Swift Foot Boots back to Jorn. Yep. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cast Abominable Tree Folk. Uh, its power and toughness are equal to the number of snow permanents I control, and when it enters, I can tap a target creature and opponent controls, and it doesn't untap during its next untap step, so I'm going to tap your archer, your, um, Leonin. Definitely. And he is currently... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. He is a 2020. 20. Or... It's a 40-40. You never know, Bruno. You never know. You never know these things. And then I am going to tap my Sculptor of Winter to untap an island, and then I will pass. Cool. I will untap some land. I will remove a stun counter. And I will draw a card. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. I'm going to do two very cool things, Bruno. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to return Glunch to the board. <gasps> Any responses? No. Nope. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to bring out probably the most important Christmas creature ever. Um, I'm going to pay one white because... You know, it's Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring except this cheeky little house mouse. No. <laughs> now, what I need you to think about, Bruno, is could you, in all good conscience, swing potentially what is a 2020 free at a little cheeky house mouse? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I have mice in my house right now, I have no sympathy. <laughs> Um, um, I will then go through combat as a counter-attack, and I will go to my end step. Okay. And I... I'm going to put, put two plus one plus ones on that cheeky house mouse. Because he is going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting. And then... Um, Bruno, you can you can draw a card. Thanks. So it, is it Christmas spirit is alive and well? <laughs> okay. And then I can't choose a third person, so I will simply end my turn. Oh, the nice list is looking okay. barren. I will untap. You know what you did. <laughs> I didn't you do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna play a snow-covered island. So, he's going to be a 21. I'm going to tap one, two, three for a chilling shade. He's going to go up to 22. One, two, three. I'm going to tap four for a cone of cold. I roll a d20. Uh, on a 1 to 9, tap all creatures your opponents control. On a 10 to 19, tap all creatures and they don't untap. On a natural 20, tap all creatures, they don't untap. And then all creatures you control that enter tapped. And I got a 5. So your creatures are all tapped. Oh, okay. I'm going to... Tap Sculptor of Winter 
to untap a land. That's still. And I'm going to tap Rhyme Tender to untap a land. Let me do some math. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I have too many things going on and my brain doesn't function with math. Does it add uh, up to 34? He he is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23. So he's at 23 because of Narfi. So he's 22 plus the 1. I have 22. So I'm going to move to combat. I'm going no. to swing my conifer. Hmm? Just saying, if, if, if you could go back to the nice list, Bruno, and all you have to do is... <laughs> I'm swinging my conifer arm at you. How powerful is that? Um, actually, I'm going to swing the Morietti the copy Morietti. of the conifer arm. And yeah. I'm going to tap 4 to give it plus X plus X, where X is the number of snow permanents I control. So I have 22 snow permanents plus 7. So that's 29 damage. Just to clarify something, all of my permanents, do they untap next turn? Uh, so Miri won't untap, but the others do. Because she still has a stun counter, so instead of untapping, she will remove the counter. But the rest of them will untap. So I still have a chance. I will... I will take 29 damage. Is that all I'm taking? Just 29? Just 29. Wait, so that is... A lovely five. Oh, five gold rings. Oh. And then I will pass turn. Amazing. So, I will remove that stun counter. Untap, untap, untap. And untap some land. Temple of Plenty, and I will scry one. That can go right to the bottom. That won't do nothing right now. I will then. What artifacts and enchantments do you have on the board? So, I only have artifacts. I don't have yeah. any enchantments. And the only artifacts I have are an Arcanum's Astrolabe, which is pay one, tap it for any color, and my Swift Foot Boots. Yeah, it was really no point doing anything with that. I will. I will. Slow you right down. Don't you worry about it. I'm going to pay four. And I will play my... Baird? Bard? Beard? This guy. Um, Steward of Argive. It's a 2-4 with Vigilance. Um, creatures can't attack you or Planeswalkers you control unless their controller pays one for each of those creatures. So, bet you're wishing you had more mana right now. Um... I can only attack you with one creature. Because <laughs> Mirror's yeah. tap. And you have to pay for it. So you think about <laughs> that. <laughs> I, will then... I will then not even consider going to combat at this point because I need to come up with another thing. And I will go to my end step. Um, And I will... Do you know what? You can... Can put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control. Okay. 
Because you need all the help you can get. <laughs> um, put it on Morietti. And then I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> and then cry inside and pass my turn. In your end step, I'm going to tap one, tap my frost auger to look at the top card. It is a snow permanent, so it's going into my hand. It's Boreal Outrider. And then untap. Upkeep and draw. I will play a Rhymeblood Rhyme Blood Falls, which is a land. It comes in tap. And then I'm going to tap three for my Boreal Outrider. And then I'm going to move to combat and swing at you with Moria of the Frost and pay the one. And I'm going to buffer plus 23 with trap. How big is she? <laughs> she is going to be 23 plus 9, so 31. 32. Right? Yeah, 32. In the spirit of Christmas, I'm going to give you something, Bruno. I'm going to give you double strike on your attacking creature, because that feel was very Christmassy. Oh. Okay, so 64. However, I am going to do this. Oh. I'm going to block with the cheeky house mouse. And you've got to think about that. <laughs> you're going to destroy the cheeky house mouse. How, how does that make you feel? I'm okay with that. Wow. Oh. But, I... <laughs> but we're going to have a Christmas miracle. I'm going to tap two green. And there's going to be a heroic intervention. <laughs> and the mouse lives. But I... <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that storyline. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. I loved every bit of that. That was so good. <laughs> that was really fun. Congratulations. Uh, that was fun. This is what happens when I don't play white, guys. But yeah, just <laughs> stop playing white, Bruno, and you win games. <laughs> Uh, that was that was insane. Uh, you know what? That I mean, that, so that was a shorter game than usual. So I don't know if anybody is up for a second game. Uh, 